Now what happens if your father tells you, either you go drive this car to the store for me on Shabbat, or I'm going to kick you out. What do you do? You honor your father? Here? Or you honor your father there? Torah says, honor your mother and your father, keep Shabbat, I'm God. That's what Pasuk says. Why? It says, honor your, there's four commandments here. Honor your mom and your dad, because it's one of the commandments, they're your parents. Keep Shabbat, that's also one of the commandments. But always remember, I'm God. Meaning, you have to keep Shabbat. You have to honor your parents. But if your parents tell you to violate Shabbat, remember, I'm God, I'm bigger than your parents. Your parents brought you, what, to this world? I brought you to existence. I brought them to existence. If your parents tell you to violate Shabbat, you're not allowed to listen to them. Your parents tell you to violate any mitzvah. Not to listen to them. You violate it, you consider it 100% mezid. Meaning, if, you, if your father tells you, drive a car on Shabbat, turn on a television for me on Shabbat, do something that violates the Torah, and you do it, it's considered as if you did it on purpose. It's not considered as if you're forced to do the sin. Why? He's not threatening to kill you. He's not putting a gun to your head. If you put a gun to your head and you knew for sure he's a psychopath, he's going to shoot you, then you're allowed some mitzvah for you to violate Shabbat. Because your life's on the line. You're allowed to violate Shabbat for, for that, such a thing. But he's not threatening your life. He's just trying to yell at you, maybe slap you in the face a few times, throw you out of the house, take away your money, whatever it is. That's not life-threatening. If you're not allowed to get a little bit of abuse for the sake of the biggest mitzvah during that moment... HaKadosh Baruch Hu will continue giving you that test over and over again until you pass the test. Why? You need to understand. Keeping Shabbat is not a suggestion. It's either life or death. Learning Torah is not a suggestion. It's either life or death. Following the entire Torah is not suggestions. It's either life or death. That's what it is. And until each one of us arrives at that conclusion, Hashem will continue passing the same test. So sometimes Hashem is going to send us through an uncle, through a cousin, through a uh, wife, or whatever it is. It's only a test. You're not allowed to fail as a result of people. If you do, pick yourself back up and get back on a horse and start doing mitzvot again. Do tshuva, do mitzvot again. You failed, no problem. All of us fail at some point or another. But you cannot use that as an excuse in heaven unless your life is really at risk. Life being at risk, meaning you're, if you don't do it, you die. Not life being at risk, if you don't do it, you're going to lose money. That's not life risk. Not if you don't do it, you're going to be homeless. That's not life risk. Life risk is mama's death. If somebody's trying to kill you, then you have the permission to violate almost the entire Torah. Not the entire thing, though.